What's up, friends? It's Marquise Martin Hayes, and it's time for the Monday moment. Last week, I talked about freedom. Today, I want to take a little deeper dive, and I want to question you on some things, but also see if I can add some value to you so that you can actually have freedom in your life. Okay, first thing I want to throw at you that we've been taught is that we live in the greatest country in the world, right? Okay, fine. Controversy, I don't really care. What I want to ask you is, are you in your greatest moment? Like now, are you living your greatest? Have you ever been in your greatest? I mean, because you're part of the country. The country doesn't exist without you. Are you in your greatest moment? That begs about the question, have you defined freedom for you? And what does that look like? Because, yeah, we can tout from the sidelines like we often do as fans, but fans never play the game. So even though we paint our faces, tout our flags, rip our shirts, or whatever crazy fandom thing that we do, the reality is that we're on the sidelines and we are not experiencing it. And most of us are Americans by title, but not living like it. So my question to you is, what does freedom look like for you? Take a moment to define that. Not next week, today. Because until you know what it looks like, then you just accept, second point, are you accepting what's in front of you? Because most of us are. So you've got to go back and define what freedom looks like for you and then find out, am I free? The second thing you want to do as I started a moment ago is, or are you just accepting what you're told freedom looks like? See, many of us sit in front of a television or whatever we are in front of, or we go to our job, or we live in our town, we go by our politics, and that then becomes who we think we actually are. But the reality is, it's not. We're just accepting what was told to us. But if you go back to step one, like I said a moment ago, and begin to define what freedom looks like for you, then you get to determine, hold on, if this is what it looks like to me, what options are now available? I know some of you are stuck because you've been in robot mode for so long that you have no idea who you are and what's possible for you. That's why I want you to go back to step one and define what freedom looks like for you. Then I want you to do number two again. I want you to then stop accepting or see what you've been accepting and then determine, hold on, no more. My new truth is, boom. And whatever that looks like. Trust me, when you begin to define new truths for yourself instead of accepting what our community does, what our politic party does, what our family has done, what our tradition is, blah, 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 all that trash, some people are not going to like it. But I got some good news for you as you start pushing back saying, no, I no longer accept that as my truth. I want something more. You begin to start to feel enlightened. You begin to feel fuller. You begin to feel more alive. You begin to get a small sense of what freedom actually is. And the last thing, I'm going to look down because I forgot what it was. And I used to try to go off the top of the dome and share it from my spirit. Nah, this is from the spirit too, but I'm going to take a quick look. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah. My father told me that many of us don't even realize we're not free because our job tells us when we can take vacation, how long we can go, where we can go on vacation, what we can do on vacation, the kind of car we can drive, the house we're going to live in, the neighborhood we're going to live in, because it controls all of those factors. No knock on a job. I got one. I got a few. But my last point that I want to leave you with is are you creating the situation you want to be in? What? Yeah. Are you creating the situation you want to be in? Or are you just accepting what was been given to you, which is a result of the freedom you thought you actually had back at point number one? You didn't know you could do that, did you? See, we have to do the inward work. And part of doing the inward work means shedding. Letting go of things around us, letting go of status quo, maybe moving out of a neighborhood, whatever that looks like, in order to begin to create the situation we want. But if we're too comfortable and unwilling to create, we'll just keep get what we continue getting what we've been getting, 
and continue experiencing freedom that looks like that much. This is Marquis Martin Hayes. I'm challenging you. Go get the life you deserve, you desire, and you want. Peace.